Roberto de Fabio studio in Rome, and we're looking at his neuron painting. I think I found a twin. It's amazing. I'm glad that someone else is researching the idea of consciousness and abstract painting. I was uh, impressed of the work, of the similitude of uh, our similar work. We do the, the same, um, the same level of um, sensibility, no? And um, we are really well connected, I think. And uh, the nice things that we just met, we didn't know each other, and so we have a long field to, to work together. ideas of consciousness and science and stuff like that. There's this, it's like the flow of paint. It's like things are going together and then apart and then reconnecting with other people. And so it's like, it's beyond the art. It's, it's, beyond, it's like an idea of life. Where, where are we? Here is a temple. Uh, I call a kind of a space time in temple, no? as a Einstein theory. Spazio tempo. In the space, more you are waked as a planet, as a meteor, a meteorite, as it is a curve, cool, the space goes cool, it's cool. It's temple to pray, to arrive in that level that we, we can go all day long. You know? So I try to recreate the spaceship. It's my dream. So you are inside this spaceship and we can go traveling <laughs> wherever you want. And I 
saw that you did a Vortex series as well. Uh, so. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, look, look at this one, Insomnia. Yeah. Look uh, all uh, about... Uh, look not, at the inside. Not sleeping. <laughs> in fact, uh, when in the night uh, we're thinking about our insomnia, no? Louise Bourgeois a lot of uh, insomnia. Ah, uh, yes, beautiful work in the night. When she wake up in the oh, night, yeah. I was inspired did by... Did you ever meet her in New York? Uh, I met, uh, I met, no, I never been. She had a, she used to, mm, used to be able to go to her so house. I made, I made this installation in the beginning of the gallery with all new ones. And after this, it was very interesting on the floor. It was a very peaceful. It was all the room was dark. With this a big installation on the floor, kind of orogenesis. So between uh, molecular and uh, synapses. It's our job. It's well, our it's work. amazing too that, like you know, you look at the periodic table and they keep adding new uh, new elements to the periodic table. And I don't know if you heard about it, but they just have a new man-made element on the periodic table. So they have iron, oxygen. They have a new one, which is a man-made one that's kind of moved into all the other wow. ones, and it's a plastic. Know. When they made acciaio and aluminium, after three days it was compact. The first day was soft. Right. So they understand that the material lives. Inside the material was waves or atom change the other elements. In that three days they had a stable, stable as they became solid. And this is, a, is a one life I talk about, the life of material. No? Always I say, take out uh, your Jesus Christ from the bed and put a uh, silicium. Do you want uh, things like that? Okay, I have also I this. Oh, see, you got syringes too. <laughs> you got syringes. That's what I did with the weight. I did this, I put syringes, and I go, Psh. I feel sometimes kind of like I'm a boy though, because it's like kind of fast. Like <laughs> Me fue. Cuando por la noche salgo a buscarle mi delirio, vio mis pasos hacia el largo boulevard. Voy por esa calle rememorando aquel ayer. Evocando en vano lo que un día se me fue Cuando por las noches salgo a buscarle en mi delirio Guío mis pasos hacia el largo boulevard Siempre me esperaba en aquel lugar La luna fue testigo de 
have a rule with the subtle line. I did only one color white and then one skirt, like just one, like so minimal, like you know, like how everything's Same. extra and Same. just two things. You need to have a great tool in the, in the right moment. At the right moment. Yeah, I get some big ones, like six feet tall. I like the one with rich <laughs> There with the hand, so you're going. <laughs> no, but for someone are really straight, so maybe you're blue, or they're going from the shooting. Really, I have to see in the in the which one that you looked at, because I switch things so much I forget.
we do. That is the problem. This, this, there's never, you never finish. You know? This is one continuous thing. <laughs> The plants are there. Thank you. Yeah, I hope because I'm coming back in one week for them. How we can go back to be quiet at home or digging the earth and growing up um, through it by ourselves. We lost also all the knowledge to grow up uh, organic food. Yeah. In the same time, we're going back to our life, practical life every day and make small good things little better no? for me and for the next person uh, next to me. Always I say when we have all this problem, try to breathe, as I say to the studio, try to breathe and say thanks God for what we have. And uh, we need to jump back to real life, day life, no? And uh, that uh, is our mission. We, we, we try to go up with the brain, try to thinking about all the life, all the problem, all the philosophy. But the next step is to go back to have dinner, to drink a glass of water. So in our small uh, practical life, uh, we try to do the best for the spectator, for the audience, uh, for the neighbor, for the next generation. But it's a dream. It's a, we try to do it with our job, but it's a small, small things, but in the same time it's big for me, no? and that makes me go on. Yeah, I definitely think that with the work, um, my work doing uh, also making neuron paintings about how technology is like strapping the people's mind to the grid, making people aware to break away from what I feel is one of the bigger problems with the screens and all the technology. And so they're not, they get more into what's like Alberto was saying about reality, getting stepping back into nature. We try with our show, with our book, with our catalogs, try to describe a little bit this problematic. Also, how do you say about our similitude of a uh, neurons uh, subject? We try to make our biological time more close to the real natural life. Yeah.